Hey, this is Joe from Personas. Ignore the mess behind me. Had a little bit of a plumbing problem around that corner over the weekend. I don't want to talk about it, but the gear's fine. But today, for this video, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about how to do parallel compression in Studio One. Let's talk about parallel compression. Parallel compression is the thing you read an issue of sound on sound and some famous engineer is talking about their drum mixing chain or their vocal mixing chain. And it seems like there's always some level of parallel processing happening or parallel compression specifically. What is parallel processing in case you're new? It's this idea of taking uh, our drum mix and running it through something aggressive like compression and then blending that aggressively compressed signal with the original signal. So we're not going 100% compressed, but we're not going 100% uncompressed. We're going aggressive and then like no or light compression and blending between the two. You can do the same with distortion and lots of other things. We're talking about compression today. So Forget the old ways of doing parallel compression. If you use Studio One Professional, especially with the new 5.2 update, this is hands down the best and easiest way to do parallel processing, and it just got a lot better. So here is, real quickly, the old ways to do parallel processing. One of them was to, let's say we wanna take this drum stem here, and we wanna do parallel processing. Well, one of the options, we could duplicate it, right? We could, well, let's do this. Let's completely duplicate it and put different plugins on each duplicate section. That's fine, that's legit. Another way would be to create some sort of a pre-fader send on this channel that also sent to this channel where we would put the compression on the second bus and then the first one would be our clean one. That's fairly convoluted and isn't super great in most situations. But now you don't have to do any of that. You don't have to have another channel. You can just use our splitter tool to get the job done. So let's start at the beginning real quick and I'll show you. All right, let's put fat channel on this drum track. So here's what the drums sound like with nothing on them. Nice and clean. Let's say we want to mess them up with some heavy, heavy compression. Here we go. I think we can all agree that that is heavy compression. Arguably, that's too much, but I like the, the way the room mics are kind of being featured more and the pumping that's happening, it's totally unnatural, but kind of cool. But I wanna blend that with the original. Here's how we do it now, and it is glorious. Uh, one way is to click on this routing tool. That's the way it's been for many, many versions. But now, if you look in your plugin list, you can now see Splitter is now a plugin you can drag onto your channel. So we're gonna drag Splitter in, and it automatically opens this routing page. If you're not familiar with this, this is gonna be your new mixing best friend. So we're gonna drag the fat channel onto one side of this Splitter. So the way Splitters work, they can split things equally, as in parallel processing. They can also split them by channel, so left and right and we can process left and right differently. That's great for like mid-side processing. We'll talk about that another time. Or frequency split, which lets you say, I wanna put zero to 300 hertz on this side and then 300 to 20,000 hertz on this side or something like that. The one you probably will end up using the most is the normal mode, which is what we have here. We can click up here on the top section and you'll see it kind of disconnects that section. It's like a electronics diagram. You can also do that by just clicking mute output. That's the same control here. Also, if we single click on the splitter over here in the actual mixer, you can see we can activate and deactivate each side of the splitter directly from the channel. And by the way, if you're if you're not catching it, this plugin right here, splitter has been in Studio One for a really long time, but it's not shown up in the mixer. So you've not been able to know which channels have splitter without just remembering yourself. Now, if there's any channels that have some sort of parallel processing with splitter, it'll show up right here. You double click on it and you can see exactly how things are routed. Okay, so now we've taken our, so here's what it sounded like when we were sending the entire drum kit through that crazy compression. way over the top. Now, if we drag this over here to one side, we are now gonna hear an equal balance of the dry, unprocessed drums with the compressed drums. And we can adjust the balance right here. So for years, I would do this on two tracks with two faders so I could adjust the balance between them. Now I don't have to, I can actually adjust the balance here 
with these little kind of mini faders within the splitter, I can also do that over here actually from the mixer itself. So I don't have to even see this interface anymore. And I can say, all right, this number two is my super compressed signal. And I'll just turn that up to taste. I really dig it. And we can turn off the entire plug-in chain by clicking up here and we can check how things sounded before and after. Isn't that cool? So obviously there are lots and lots of ways to do parallel processing. Sometimes it's called New York compression, I think. There's other ways of calling it. Parallel compression to me makes the most sense just because I don't have to keep up with the other crazy names for it. But that's how you do it. And as you can imagine, the tweaky folks among us will want to go nuts with this. Yes, you can have splitters on top of splitters on top of splitters if you want. And I would say that if you're doing some crazy sound design, that's great. Uh, this can easily become a rabbit trail and make things sound worse. But just to start, do something like this. Simple split between the two. And if let's say we decided, oh man, the let's listen to just the compressed side for a second. A little too much high end on the cymbals. Then we can do things like grab Pro EQ and put it just on the compressed signal and we could do something like this. Let's do just a little bit of a high cut there to tame that top end. Well, now if we come back and we listen. Not quite as harsh and then listen to everything together. In the past, I've loved the idea of the splitter, but I've always hesitated to use it because I have forget which channels the splitter was on. You couldn't see from the console view which channels had parallel processing. Now we can. With a quick glimpse across our mix, we can see, ah, there's a splitter there. We can open it up just to check to see what's there, and we can single click on it to adjust the parameters within that splitter without even having to open up that routing window. That is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite features in Studio One, especially in the new 5.2 version. If you haven't upgraded yet, come check it out. This alone to me makes it worth it.